What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So the original video I was going to put out this morning didn't really work out for a number of different reasons, so I'm just going to put this together really quick. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so sorry if I seem a little bit rushed, but um, let's go ahead and just uh, dive into this idea really quick. So the idea right now is a lot of the time what happens when you're doing work in a model is um, for whatever reason you accidentally put a piece of geometry in a group that you don't want in a group and this may not be the best example but I think it'll work okay for what we're doing right here so this is a cabinet that I've modeled and at the moment um, I've, I've modeled everything inside of a group so if I double click inside of it you can see how I have all the different cabinet doors and stuff like that and uh, what I need to do is I need to come in here and I need to create like a counter on top of this and what I don't want to do though is I don't want to come in here and use the create new face tool like this um, or the push pull tool and create new face mode because what that's going to do is that's just going to create this inside of this group so and I like to keep my counters and everything else separate so I can uh, I can make changes really easily and you can see how trying to select that and put that in a group just gets really complicated well one thing that you can do instead is you can use what's called paste in place and so what paste in place does is that will take an object and it'll let you cut or copy it and paste it in the exact same spot that it's already in so in this case what I want to do is I want to select just just the top of this counter and I want to I can either cut it or I can copy it. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this face and I'm going to do a control X to cut it out. And then I'm going to double click outside of it and I'm going to do an edit paste in place. Well, what that's going to do is that's going to paste what I had cut, but since I clicked outside of this group, this is now a face that I can use in order to create my countertop. So I can now push pull that up and I can give this a thickness of whatever I want. And then I can just triple click on it and I can just put that in its own group. So, and if I kind of move that off to the side, you can see how that was really easy to do. And one place where I use something like this, and just to make this more visible real quick, let's, um, Let's apply a marble counter material to this. There we go. So now you can see this is a separate object in here. And so one place where this happens to me a lot is when I'm creating like walls in floor plans and stuff like that. I like to keep my walls grouped separately from my floors, but a lot of the time what happens is my floors get brought in accidentally. So if I have a space like this one and uh, I group everything, you can see I have my raw wall faces, but then I accidentally brought my floor into this group as well when I grouped everything. Well, if I just select that and I do a control X and then I click outside the group and I do an edit paste in place you can see how that puts that in the exact same location but since I clicked outside of that group this will place this outside of that group one other trick if you wanted to do this and this is more of just an example um, you could use it for a lot of different things but let's say we had a sphere like this one and I was to triple click which would just pick up all of the hidden geometry in here and I was to put that in a group well now if we go inside that group by double clicking and we turn on our hidden geometry you could select a number of these different faces just like this, whatever faces you really wanted to. And you could copy those, you could do a control copy. You could click outside of this group and do an edit, paste in place. Well now if you move your sphere, you can see how you can actually get that geometry placed in the location where the sphere was without having the rest of the geometry as well. So, And you could do that without actually affecting your sphere. So again, more of an example than anything else, but just something that you could use in order to create some interesting things. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. Leave a comment below. Let me know, are you using Paste in Place? Did you know this was a thing? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.